Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Riverlore, and welcome back to Icarus. Well, uh, it is my lunch hour again. So this is going to be a quick and dirty episode. Um, I uh, wasn't feeling the hottest uh, yesterday um, evening slash afternoon and I apologize for not getting another episode out but I woke up on Saturday morning and I couldn't hear from my left ear for some reason and I've got uh, some ringing going on so um, I just took it easy yesterday afternoon but one must soldier on hey 85 to 90 subscriptions man can you believe that five in one day so close to a hundred. Very stoked. Um, yeah, man, that's just uh, super, super cool. Uh, where are we here? Okay, we've got some stuff going on there. Let's go put these up in the. So, um, let's give a shout out to our new subscribers. Uh, and you know what? Normally. If I have five subscribers, I'm usually having a lot of people who are, you know, don't sh care to share, like, who they're following or whatever. But in this particular case, four out of the five uh, subscribers uh, had that visible. So, uh, Glaken's Girl, thank you very much for joining the fam. Voitech, thank you, my man. Sounds like an, a masculine name, so I hope I'm getting that right. Uh... Tuned MD64, thank you, and uh, Mad Eunuch. Um, I don't know if that's how it, it's spelled. Uh, capital M A D U N E K. So if I read it like Mad Eunuch, I don't know. Uh, if uh, if I don't have that right, feel free to reach out to me uh, in a comment and give me the phonetic spelling of that. Uh, so I apologize if I butchered it. Um, kind words, advice. Uh, Albert Giggs, um, you know, gave me some some feedback about queue management when you're crafting multiple things. Um, always seem to have an issue with that. So thanks for catching me on that uh, there, Albert. Uh, Martin Voller. Uh, excellent idea. Excellent, excellent idea. As a matter of fact, I think that I've already got the ability, but I don't think that I have uh, trained it. So there's a thing now like where you can go. Oh, I do have it. I just haven't used it at all, Martin. Let me show you what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, just in case uh, you guys don't know about this. So let's take all of this leather and then I'm going to go into here and I'm gonna craft, well, for for ease of sake, let's go ahead and craft 10 rope. So we're gonna go ahead and craft. So what we're actually using is we're using leather to craft rope. Now, any of you who have been watching my videos, one of the most <laughs> challenging things, and I think I'm just a sucker for punishment, is when I'm in a cave and I don't have enough ladders or enough ramps, and so I'm madly running around the cave um, uh, trying to collect wood from the bottom of the forest biome ones because uh, they have lots of driftwood at the bottom of them, which is really cool. And it always seems like my last episode, for instance, I had to destroy um, five bandages. And by destroying five bandages, I got half of the fiber back that I needed. And then I turned around and made ladder ladders with it. So I always am killing stuff on the way to the cave. I'm killing lots of stuff, so I almost it seems like I always have leather on me. So I've got all this leather. And now if I just go ahead and right-click and hit destroy, you'll see here I'm going to get 60 fiber back. So even though I used leather to create it, I'm getting fiber. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Look at that. So let's go ahead and see if we can... Um, we'll get some more fiber, but yeah, that's um, I I know that trick. I, I don't, certainly don't 
want to make it seem like I know it all, but I do know that I'm just a bit stupid and <laughs> haven't used it uh, for whatever reason. So very frustrating. Martin, thank you very much for reminding me of that. Uh, greatly appreciated. Um, Brazil had reminded me uh, of Brazil 7028 had reminded me about something, but it completely slipped my mind. And um, and I don't know why, but it did. Uh, and that is um, using concrete uh, roof pieces. So apparently, if you use concrete roof pieces, uh, anything that's below those concrete roof pieces apparently will not take damage from storms and stuff. So as a for instance... <clears throat> you'll see that this wall is 2450 out of 2500. So the reason I didn't mind building in stone is because, first of all, uh, concrete takes quite a bit to repair or to build. Uh, but the stone, for the most part, if you're taking a look at it, like most of this takes very, very little damage. Um, so I generally don't have to repair this. The storms are not very volatile in this neck of the woods. Like if you take a look. So we've seen that one wall up there that is 50 points down. So I think I will go ahead and just pull it at it. I'm gonna repair it with my titanium hammer that I made last time. Uh, damn it. We're running low on food. And we need some water. Um, I think we have to go bacon hunting again. I don't want to. Do I have any food on here? I don't. So let's go run and do that. That's something we can do relatively quick and easy. The other thing that I didn't do because uh, my wife and I are actually pretty busy with dealing with stuff on the house this weekend, is, uh, uh, of course. Um, I didn't get my wife in to help me fix my walls, so uh, we're going to do that. We are both having uh, horrible issues uh, with sleeping uh, lately. So uh, we're going to be trying some new stuff out in regards to our sleep cycle. Maybe we'll have a little bit more energy to do more. So we'll see how that goes. Apparently there's a, a lady out there who writes in her blog about... Uh, what's called three, two, one. So uh, not having anything to eat or drink three hours before you go to bed. Um, not, uh, what was the, I can't remember what the two was. Oh, look at who we have. Hello, little friend. Let's see if we can't. I'm not really sure what happened there, guys. Why is my crosshair... That's not good. So apparently, um, my other character has the grizzly, the grizzly suit. And I don't know if we... So you see how I have the crosshairs there, the dot? So normally when you have the rifle equipped, you don't, you lose the... Oh, now everything's working. There we go. Okay, I just had to equip something else. That's all. Okay. Uh, anyways, where were we? Did I get the bones? Yes, I did. Okay. 
Where are we on the map? We're all the way down. Yeah, over there. I think that we are going to... Son of a gun. Let's go to our left. Completely lost track of what I was talking about. Oh, the three, two, one. And then the one is um, is no uh, no phones, no TVs, no tablets, none of that malarkey uh, for an hour before you go to bed. So um, I wish I remember what the two was. So we're going to go ahead and give that a go. And as a way of winding down, and uh, let's go get some more salt. Oh, um, as a way of winding down, um, I, I think I mentioned before that my wife and I have watched the uh, Game of Thrones TV, or sorry, the Wheel of Time. Uh, TV series on Prime and to any of you who have read the book uh, the TV series is um, awful if you watch it as someone who's never read any of the books uh, that's fine then it's a really actually quite entertaining series but uh, if you Watch it as somebody who has read the books. It is atrocious. Um, Perrin didn't get married. They don't have Bail Dolmon um, as a primary character, and he's so important in the early books. Um, uh, what shall we call it? Moraine, and they have Moraine and the um, Amarillan seat as uh, as lovers and they're not um it's uh, they've just done some really crazy things you know like having parent be married and then have him accidentally kill his wife in the very first episode i almost th was physically ill as somebody who's read these books and absolutely loves them um it's and there's uh, like a myriad. There's a huge list of stuff that they've done that is just awful. So I watch it with her, and sometimes it frustrates her because I cringe and I bitch and I complain and I throw my hands in the air every time I see something stupid. So. I really want her to know the books, because the books, in my opinion, and of course, I understand for a TV series, I couldn't possibly have like 20 seasons, I mean, we're talking about 14 books, I think, is the total, uh, total count, and they're thick books, right, so, um, anyways, I understand that they have to make changes for brevity's sake, and so on and so forth but um it just seems so wrong so what we're gonna do is in that last hour of our day um just to like do an you know unwind and relax and is i'm actually went out and bought the first two books oh yes here we go one of these guys with the volatile. Did I just one shot it? <laughs> oh, so gonna get a screenshot, guys. Let's go ahead and stand behind this bad boy. Let's do this. Yes. We did it. Um, so as a way to unwind and everything else like that, we're going to... Oh, oh, I wish I knew what to do with this other stuff.
Okay. I'm immediately going to start taking damage. Track. 1800 points. <laughs> Idiot. So, we're going to get her to be, like, get herself really comfortable and stuff. And then I think that um, we're going to spend an hour with me reading her the book. I mean, she's a better reader than I am. She's perfectly capable of doing that. But I think it's just, uh, I think it's a really cool way for us to spend some time together and to unwind at the end of the night and get some good sleep. Let us... to get more bacon, but I want exploding bullets more. And this volatile substance that you see in my um, in my inventory now, that's what you use to make explosive shells. But they uh, like um, like a lot of other things, they have a lifetime on them. So let's run back and make some explosive shells. It's really disconcerting seeing those buggers out and about outside of the swamp. But now that I've got my boomstick, I'm, uh, I'm not overly concerned. Because you can kill some shit with that boomstick. I gotta see, I've got the, uh, I think I have the tier two. Yeah, I got sniper two on it. So, um, I gotta see if there's a better, more alterations that I can make. Apparently I was told that there's more alterations. Um, we also had an excellent recommendation from, uh, Soa Majumber, and his recommendation was if you find yourself going to a cave often, like if you have a cave that's, you know, quite big, that has lots of different um, uh, mining nodes and stuff like that, then uh, he recommended putting um, hedgehogs uh, down over where the worms pop up because the worms worm pop is kind of static. Uh, where they happen to uh, where they happen to pop up so and I just when he said that I was like oh my god that's just genius because they die fairly easily and I don't know if it stops them from popping up in that spot or if they actually just get damage from it when they pop up either or it's a genius freaking idea do 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 I think Man, that just looks What a great pick that is. Who wouldn't want to live there, eh? Doo -doo -doo. I am taking damage. Not very much. We're going to go ahead and fill our... of rifle rounds. Okay. Axe. Craft. Uh, 
Excellent. I am not even sure what to do with these things. Acid glands. Um, let's take these and go down to the... <clears throat> Can't be that simple, can it? Yeah, no. Let's get these... Oh, no. Let's get these bacon in here. Craft. And then we need... in here. I have to build a few more of those to actually fill up the wall <coughs> the way we want to. I can make volatile substances. That's cool. Now, Wow, it takes a half an hour to make. Well, there's got to be a quicker way to make gunpowder, man. What's going on? What's going on? Mm-hmm. 
that's quite the storm. Okay, so we're going to deactivate that. We're going to take the titanium, the platinum, and the rubber as well. I don't think there is actual lightning. I think there's just the sound. That's why I'm not running for the other zone like I normally do right now. Chili out there. How is our why? What is going on here? <gasps> We're out of biofuel, son of a biscuit. Well, we have plenty of iron. We're gonna go grab this biofuel. Thing. Bada boom. Let's start this. Cook. Max. Cook. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but it appears that the game has crashed. So, let us, um, I'm going to put an end to this episode and we're going to see what happens.